Woodstock happened 45 years ago in New York. It was three days of peace and music. The festival inspired Woodstock. It's one night of pause and music. Michael Roach <laughs> and Suzanne Claybaugh are two of the people behind this event. Good morning. Nice to, nice see, nice you. to see you again. Yeah, who and did you bring today? We brought Elvis today. Mm -hmm. Elvis is in the house today. <laughs> Tell us about him. What's his story? Uh, Elvis uh, was recovered as a stray in Kansas and was brought into a local shelter down there. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of local shelters aren't as uh, anywhere near as big as, as we have with the Humane Society here. So they can't hold a log dog for very long. So when it comes to a purebred like this, like, they'll contact us and say, you know, can you take this in? What is his availability status right he now, Michael? He is adoptable. He is mm -hmm. in foster care, and unless his foster decides to adopt. <laughs> is that going? <laughs> his foster mom is here. <laughs> his foster mom is not going to take him in. It doesn't yeah. sound like it. Uh, no. But he's so good. But he is very good. He's only a year old. Oh, so. my gosh. Is, very, his, is his case, his situation fairly typical from <laughs> how you get your dogs that you It really is. Um, oh, last year when we were here, we had a dog that needed um, surgery. But, but this Elvis is more, more of what we see most every day. Um, a dog that uh, <laughs> yeah. he's so yeah. affectionate. He he's such a sweetheart. It might he be the Godfather's pizza too. There, yeah. <laughs> well, you had your dog. You probably smells your dog. Yeah, Elvis. Uh, Elvis is very typical of a husky. He uh, probably escaped from his home when he was a puppy. Um, they're they're known as the Houdinis. Mm. Yeah. And, and um, yeah, and then they're athletic. I mean, and they then they run. Go yeah. a far distance they, in a short They look at the horizon time. and say, "Hey, I can reach that." And before they know it, they're too far from home. And um, and in this case, he, he wasn't, probably wasn't shipped, and mm. his owner didn't come look for him or couldn't find him, and so he ended up in rescue, and now he's looking for a really good home. And you were saying that uh, the area around Kansas City is where you get a lot of your dogs, within about 100 miles, yeah. and then you're uh, uh, facing a, a particularly big need right now because of the Kansas 12. Explain. Yeah, we took, um, over the summer, we took in a, a group of dogs that came from a, a breeder in Kansas, um, and... Um, she was uh, very ill, the breeder was, so she had to close down her operation. And we took 12 of her, um, her huskies from her breeding stock. Um, and and they're, they're a difficult um, adoptive, adoptable situation there. Breeding dogs can be very shut down. They don't know very many humans, and they're not treated as pets. So they don't even know what it means typically to be in a home or... Um, or to be a pet for anybody. Mm -hmm. So, can they get through that? Can they get to that point um, where they can? Most be a of them pet? will. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Am I not giving Elvis you attention? Elvis is stealing the show. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, most of them will. Will take varying degrees of yeah. time. Yeah. Um, well, I want to get to the event, but first, for our viewers who want to adopt Elvis or another dog who's ready, what what are the requirements? Um, you know, the, there's, these, uh, it's a special breed. It's a very old breed, so, um, and they are escape artists. So we, we do like to see a fenced yard, um, mm -hmm. preferably a six-foot fence. Um, we do have dogs that can jump fences really easy. So, mm -hmm. um, but um, we, we're, pretty, we're pretty specific about home checks and, and reference <coughs> checks. Mm -hmm. and, um, I've had a couple of potential adopters ask me over time um, why it's so hard to get a dog from us. Yeah. And I'm not trying to oversell it, but, um, you know, they... You it, want to make sure the dog is there forever. We're talking, we mm -hmm. speak for the dog. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we want to make sure it's a, it's a really good match <clears throat> with the family. Uh, several profiles of dogs on the website, which mm -hmm. we're showing you right now, by the way, if you'd like to go and, and look around. And these Huskies and Malamies, why are they <clears throat> such special dogs? They're, I know they're very smart, too, aren't they? Yeah, they're very smart. They're a working breed. Um, they're, uh, they were um, known to, to have existed just like this upwards of 10,000 years ago with the uh, Indians in Siberia, the <laughs> Chukchi Indian tribe. Um, and they used them in the winter um, to pull sleds, to pull equipment around, mm -hmm. to sleep with. The, mm -hmm. the group three dog night refers to a very cold night in Siberia. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's a three dog night. Mm -hmm. um, in the summertime, they did not need them, so they would actually release them and back into the wild. So that's why they still are very pack driven, because they had to fend for themselves. Um, for six months of the year. Because of the costs which you incur in saving these dogs, um, fundraisers are important. And Suzanne, Sorry. you're wearing a Woostock shirt now. I am. <laughs> what, what's planned uh, for this event? And, and we were talking about Aiden, this incredible guitar player. <laughs> Uh, playing, but, but what's lined up that night? Yeah, we're very excited for it. It's just going to be one big party. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, we have an awesome MC, K Dub, uh, from the local area, is going to be our MC. Mm -hmm. And 
We have uh, the 70s band headlining it, so it's going to be a groovy time with them. And then we have the band from the Omaha School of Rock, and mm -hmm. there will be a feature with Aiden Fisher um, yeah. doing a little solo set for us, too, and he's in the band. So. That's great. They're all very talented kids mm -hmm. in the School of Rock, especially him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there he was with Still Panther. Yeah, yeah it's but. November 8th. How do people get tickets? Can they show up at the door? Uh, they, can, they can show up at the door. Um, they can go on the website um, and click on the little um, Jimi Hendrix. Husky on our website and mm -hmm. buy tickets directly there. Those, that's actually the best value at this mm -hmm. time because you can, you can buy different levels of packages mm -hmm. and get t-shirts and whatnot uh, much cheaper than you will at the event. So. The event is November 8th, so you've got time to plan. Get it on the calendar. It's at the Chrome Lounge in Omaha. The website for Woostock or to see those profiles of Elvis and dogs like him, it's tasiablue.com. T A Y S I A blue.com, and we'll link back to it all from our website as well. Guys, thank you for coming yeah, in today. Thanks for bringing Elvis. Yeah. What a great dog. No, he, he is a good dog. Too long, Everybody so. in the building has been impressed <laughs> with Elvis. Like, yeah. have you seen that dog? He's amazing. The boss was really fun. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, we, we were in the green room with him, and he was, uh, I thought he was going to take him home. Oh, <laughs> that's what he yeah. said, and, and he did mention that. Um, <laughs> he did. Great thanks, dog. Suzanne, thank you. Michael, thanks thank for you. Thank you. Good to see you. All right, still